Guys, the key to life is hydration. Water, a lot of times, is not enough. That's why you got to check out Liquid IV. They got lots of great flavors. All you got to do is go to liquidiv.com. Also, you can find it at Costco. Put in the promo code WILD, and you will get 25% off your order. It is great. Nice. We're talking about some fine beard products right now. Our sponsor, Duke Cannon, can be found at Target. You can visit dukecannon.com. Check them out. Go get yourself some beard wash, some beard oil, and some beard bomb. Make that beard look cute. <laughs> there we go. Got it. Yeah. Okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The History of Hyenas. I'm Chrissy D. We got Yanni P. Veneti is here. Zach's here. Mike Mush is in San Antonio. That's why um, I got. I figured it was safe to finally do this. Only I can only do this when Mike Mush is here. I got cannolis for the table. Yeah. But I couldn't have them here if Mike was here because he put his face in the box. Yeah. So I got some cannolis. What are you doing bringing cannolis? What, what's going Why would you do that? Okay, let me just get this yeah, out. Yeah, explain okay? it. Okay. First of all, as you guys can notice, I'm not gelled up. Yeah. I'm wearing sweatpants and my Lululemons for the 10th day in a row. Yeah. I got a pimple on my cheek. I already threw hands. Serge Blizzy almost punched me in the face. I'm fucking screwed in. I'm here to tell you guys that this podcast is starting to really break, okay? November 9th, we got the Gramercy Theater. The show's almost sold out. You have to go to our website, historyhyenas.com, and get those tickets, or go to mine or Giannis' Papa's Instagram. The link's in the bio. November 9th, midnight, Gramercy Theater, live History Hyenas show. The Yamis are starting to crawl out of their knishes because they smell the money. Okay? So we got... Way song Thank you. Yeah, just so wanted we got to see if the, the kid was awake. Things are getting bigger. Yeah. Things are getting better. <laughs> and I'm just fucking screwed. I'm ready to go. I don't have time to gel my hair, yeah. pop my pimples, or eat right. Because yeah. I'm focused and I'm screwed in on this history I heinous thing. The Comedy Central deal is over. Yeah, I was about to say, you are Chrissy Torres. Yeah. I'm yeah. Chrissy Torres. I'm ready to shout fucking loam. And you're ready breaking Wei Zhang Jing records. Um, I yeah. mean, you, you, you know it. You know Chrissy's focused and screwed in when the Wei Zhang Jing start within the first two minutes of the podcast. Yeah, I, with the opening, uh, in the opening credits. Yeah, okay? the opening credits. If Chris starts letting them fly, yeah. then it's what it is. Historyhyenas.com. Get tickets to that live Gramercy Theater show. And then real quick, ChristyComedy.com, uh, Gotham Comedy Club, November 29th and 30th. Those shows are almost sold out, so please go get those tickets. Yeah, go see Chrissy at Gotham. Go see us at Gramercy. And Mike but, Muth is opening for me at Gotham Comedy Club. Yeah, Mike, right now he's in San Antonio, uh, so, but he's still working from San Antonio. He's got... A lot, and you diff when you listen to the last episode, of Michael Coffey. You heard him at the opening. He did a really good job with that. So yeah, it's good. The only thing we got to do with Mike Mush is we got to get him eating Lakeside Maple and less Slurpees and less Slurpees. And if you see Mike Mush, if you see anything on the internet now of somebody doing a clip and it has subtitles, it's probably Mike Mush did the subtitles. Yeah, but you know who just also just learned how to do subtitles because she's the screwed the screwed in Greek piece. Oh, Venetia. Venetia. The Screwed in Greek Peace is a great name yeah. for Venetia. Yeah, the Screwed in Greek Peace is unstoppable. Yeah. And she just, she, yeah. you know what she is? She just, if you don't do her job right, if you don't do your job right, she's going to learn your job and do it better. It's just so what that's it is. the fear. She Like, yeah. she's looking at us. She's yeah. looking at Zach. Yeah. She's looking at Mike. And she's like, listen, guy. Yeah. Venetia comes in like, listen, guy. I'm, yeah. I'm from an ancient people and we're just better than we're you. We're just better than you. Yeah. And this is what the deal is. Yeah. She's like, I was born with my hair golden, fucking blonde like this yeah it's not hair dye i'm no. just a golden child she's a golden child so it's just what it is i'm mad woke and dope i'm wearing a name plate that's not even my own name yeah on my so, chest yeah that's how fucking wild i am yeah it's just a <laughs> samantha from sex and the city yeah, because she's just wild and dope she's just wild yeah. and dope and i have a long-term plan to marry but i'm also simultaneously telling all the girls i crack open so it's not <laughs> working <laughs> Contradiction. It's just what it is. Yeah, whatever, you're, gotta, yeah. whatever you're working towards, you are also destroying it at the same time. It's what it is. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's just my life. I'm just wild. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. yeah. So it's Venetia's just, what it just is. here for a professional relationship with yeah. his cuz. 
and she's she's uh, here for, yeah. for a good time. She's Certainly here for a, not a long time. No, she's here for a long time, and she's not here for a good time because the girl works. The girl works. The hard. girl puts subtitles on videos. The girl fucking makes outlines. Yeah, and the girl also parties fucking hard in Athens, Greece. Yeah, no, she does it all. No, last night she sent a text with t- with today's notes, and it was at one thirty in the morning, and it went off the ding, and it woke up my baby, and I got mad, and then I turned over and I saw his vanity, and I was like, dope. Yeah, it's yeah. dope, and she. <laughs> No, She'll it's okay. Do, no, she was, she was actually already up. You cannot bring cannolis to the studio. Why? Because of the little fucking snivel face. No, so because oh. you, that's just not. You see, what you just said about Venetia. Uh, let me just explain how funny it is. And your jaw's way out. Yes, yeah, way out. Yeah. The guy, the chain's yeah. out now. Pull that fucking fat girl necklace out. Yeah, that's a ten. It yeah. keeps getting fucking to- torn around my neck. First, I want to say quickly to the person who left that review on our iTunes. You fucking rat. You rat. What they say. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some fucking rat yeah. bank left a fucking one-star review. We're going to hunt you down and kill you, what guy. What they say? Well, you know what it probably is? They said when we do the yeah, the yeah, yeah. Win. Yeah, we're going to send ISIS to your fucking house yeah. and blow it up. And also some other fucking rats, probably the same rat piece of shit, told Keeping Joe, found audio of us of us talking shit about Keeping Joe, and then told everybody at the Keeping Joe podcast we were talking shit about them. I'm like, it's, we're all fucking family here, guy. Yeah, that's so what relax, podcasts so I got do. A text and and anyway, like, yeah, we were. What are you going to do about it's it? It's what it is, yeah, okay? I mean, just, I mean, what are you going to do about yeah, it, guy? If you, I'm fucking if you in don't the studio, notice, I throw hands. Yeah, and I've been doing steroid cycles to get my testosterone yeah, you look, up. all of a sudden you're jacked. Yeah, because you know what? I'm just taking steroids. Yeah, and you, your hair's back again. I know, my hair's gone and it's back. Yeah, and it's no, what it is. I'm not taking steroids, and but look, Your guy, beard's gray now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. What do you mean we're talking shit? What have we talked about? We didn't talk shit. We're making jokes about the jokes, but these fucking they're... FFs can't handle jokes. Look, Sam Morell's about to leave that podcast. It's about to end. Yeah. So it's just what it's it is. It's just what it is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the kid's going up. You know, yeah. he's got a high joke density, and he can't be dragged down by fucking keeping Joe anymore. Yeah. It's what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Make a clip of that and send it to him. Yeah. Make a clip of it and send it to him. And, abs- and as always, Trump gets my vote. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's what it is. It's but what I'm piece. saying is just like what you said with Venetia, which was funny. It's like, yeah, you know, because you're thinking, yeah, that she's the type of girl you marry. But at the same time, she's she works at your job where she hears about all the girls you crack on. Yeah. And I'm like, I, there's only so many times I can be like, it's a character piece. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah. She, she knows just, it's not a character like, piece. Yeah. I'm like, I just can't. Like, yeah. I'm going to propose to her one day. She's going to say, no, I'm going to say it's character piece. No, she, she'll walk away. And you're. <laughs> When she looks at you, all she sees is fuck boy. Yeah. Chrissy's fuck definitely boy. a fuck boy, no? Am I a fuck boy? I am a fuck yeah, boy. Yeah, he's right? a fuck yeah. boy. You're a fuck boy. But I'm getting closer to being not a fuck boy, but I'm not there yet. Not in her world, but somebody else who doesn't know your history. You gotta go you gotta go to like well, France that's to find thing. a girl. My relationships with women last just until they hear the podcast. So as, as long as I keep them away from the podcast, I can have a girlfriend. As soon as she hears it, she's out of here. Yeah. I mean, the only way you're going to find a wife if, is if you go into the witness protection program. Yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> I need to you got to gotta get a new name and a new identity to find yeah. somebody who's going to stay with yeah, you. Yeah, or I just have to fucking marry a deaf girl. Yeah, because you just can't hear it. Because as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Those are your only two options. Those are my only two options. Yeah, if you're if you're a girl out there that does sign language, I'm into you. Yeah, that's the only way it's gonna happen because you're gonna have a nice dinner with her. You're gonna introduce to the baby, and then you're gonna she's gonna sit yeah. down in the love sack, and then she's gonna overhear what's happened to that love yeah. sack because that love sack needs to be fucking clean. No, I cleaned it, and by the way, I'm being a love sack for Halloween. So if anybody wants to make me a love sack costume, send them to uh, 117 McDougal Street, the Comedy Cellar. Yeah, Chris is gonna be a love sack for Halloween, and I'm gonna be Venetia. Yeah, you're gonna be Venetia. That's yeah, that's what, what we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna and then. Ven- he is going to be Mike Mush. Yeah, and here's what I wanted yeah. to say. So much like and the Zach's ve- just going to be fired. Yeah, no, Zach's just going to he's just going to shave his beard and he's going to go as an American citizen. That's what it is. That's yeah. What- yeah, Zach. <laughs> Zach's hair is fucking. Now he's got his hair combed down like he's fucking like he's a like. He's in like 15th century England. I mean, it's just. Getting I mean, the weird. guy looks like he's a fucking crusader. Because he lives like he's been. He looks like he's been living in Saddam Hussein's cave. The guy's got a full Lancelot haircut. Yeah, I mean, the kid looks like he's hiding from army rangers right yeah, now. Yeah, it's just what it is. Yeah, cuz. Yeah. So much like the Venetia uh, thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You just worked out and you fucking worked out hard and you threw hands with Sergio and then you went and bought six cannolis. But I bought four cannolis for the bit because I know Mike Muth wasn't going to be here. Um, but I also. Oh, like so you a did just for a bit, but if you don't think you're going to crack one of these cannolis out, it's. It's just yeah, like I'm sticking when, one of those cannolis in my ass. Yeah, I mean it's gonna happen, and I don't want these cannolis. I'm trying to lose weight from my Savannah trip. When are you going to Savannah? Because I'm de- I'm a two. I'm you two. just went to Savannah. I'm saying I put on a lot of weight. Oh, from Savannah. I thought you said two Savannah. Yeah, I it's been like a couple weeks. I'm two eleven right now. I'm two hundred eleven pounds. Is that too big for you? I, yeah, I got to get down to under two. Yeah, I mean these pants are so tight. It like but you hurts. Look pretty jacked, right? Because I'm wearing black, right but now. I am fucking jacked. You're getting more jacked. I'm a jacked kid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could get jacked quick. 
You can get jacked. I can wet. lose weight quick. I can grow my hair back quick. Yeah. I can become a woman quick. It's funny. I'm a malleable kid. It's funny how, like, when you start to get depressed, you start to lose your hair. Yeah. And then when you get happy, your hair just comes. I mean, you have a full head of hair right now. I know. But two weeks ago, you looked like you were. You look like you were in chemo. Yeah. And why is it? I think it's because I just don't have the right hair products. Well, because well, right now I found a I found a spritz spray. Well, finally, you found the right barber. Shout out fucking, shout out Panache. Yeah, shout out Panache. Yeah, yeah. That, no, the, the clippers they use out there are serious. No, no, no. He's got one. Okay. So yeah. he's got one. Yeah, it's gold. First of all. Shout out Panache. Shout out Avenue Bay Ridge. Yeah, Stefano. Shout out Stefano. Stefano's brother Paulie, his other brother Paulie, his dad Paulie. It's, it's, it, it, <laughs> it bears repeating he's a fourth generation barber. Yeah. He's Did a you know fourth that? generation sauce monkey barber. Yeah, he's an Italian. He's actually half Greek, though. He speaks fluent Greek. He does speak fluent so Greek. So he's not yeah. a full sauce monkey. Yeah, and the kid's he's got a Greek kid. And now tell him about the clippers that he has. So yeah, so first, <laughs> so first off, he's a fourth generation barber. Yeah, which is funny in and of itself. I said, wow, because his father is a barber and he uh, he owns Panache, and then he and his brother are barbers there. Yeah. So there's you, you got you got three you got three family members who are barbers there. Yeah. But then his father's father was also a barber. Yeah. And his father before him was a barber. He's a fourth generation Richard barber. barber. Yeah. His great grandfather was a barber. Yeah. So they're just four generations of barbers. It's what it is. Yeah. Now when he goes in there, he's got these gold clippers, and I saw them. They're fucking solid gold clippers. Yeah. They're as gold as that chain that your mother bought you for freaking graduating from Catholic school. Exactly. Yeah. It's what it is. Holy Communion. It's twelve karat gold. Shout out, Mrs. Link. I said, wow. Now they were they were glistening off the lights above the seat. So they caught my eye, and I said, "Those are those special clippers because yeah. they're gold." Yeah. And he said, "Oh, those over there are serious." Serious. He called them serious. Serious. Yeah. He said they're like they're like vintage sneakers. They're hard to get. He said they're always sold out. Those things are serious. Serious. Yeah. And then when he when he used them on me, I have to admit the buzz was nice and calm and controlled. Yeah. yeah. It sounded like a jet plane, like yeah. one of those advanced fucking yeah. like CIA, yeah. like uh, you know maybe like um what I used to call those things that make no sound. Like, um... The, the fly, the, um... It was one of those. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like a spy... What was it called? It was like... It looks like... Mike would have had It the looks answer. like Darth Vader's hel helmet. Mike... Oh, if you, once you said Darth Vader, Mike would have came. Yeah, Mike would have... <laughs> yeah, but if Did Mike you see from the group chat, he was, he was like, oh, fit. Yeah, so the buzz was real nice, and it was a real good clipper. Did you see Mike's reaction when Burr said that he was in the Star Wars movie? Yeah. He started crying almost. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, started yeah. crying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mike, no, Mike's a good kid. Yeah, Mike's he's a great kid. Helping out his mother right now, San Antonio. Yeah, he's in San Antonio. But listen, Mikey, if you're listening to this, which you are, listen. No more therapy for you. I want you yeah. to go to Lakeside Maple and use that fucking promo code. Yeah, that's yeah. what you need to start doing. Whenever you want a Slurpee, get yeah. it. Do you ever notice when we go to dinner, the kids always ordering a burger? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Listen, you gotta listen, guy. We're okay. just no, we're just gonna have to order for him. Well, Serge, Serge said he'd give him a couple of free sessions to throw hands. Yeah, if Mike he, wants to do it. He needs to throw hands. Yeah. We love Mikey. We miss him already today. I do. Yeah, I mean, we can't print anything out. Even even the Mighty Venetia doesn't know what the fuck's going on. We can't find passwords. The printer doesn't work. Yeah, we just we need Mike here. Yeah, but Venetia will learn it. You know, no, Venetia, Venetia will Venetia will absolutely learn. It. Venetia is eventually going to start just doing the podcast. That's and what I'm we're saying. not going to do it. She's looking at you and she's like, Chris, if you look at that phone one more time, I'm going to sit in that seat and I'm going to oh, talk yeah. about guys I cracked out. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I, we're going to do this podcast. We're here from 12 to 4. I'm not allowed to pee. You're not allowed to pee. I can't pee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just yeah. she's just got everything. She's got everything in control. She's like the uh, she's almost like the the Terminator. A little bit. Uh, yeah. um, Sarah Connor. She's like you know how the Terminator kind of changes forms and kind of yeah. like you can't stop her. Yeah. Venetia will just you can't stop her. Yeah. You'll try to keep her away. Like this is my job, and she'd be like. She's kind of got that thing where it's like, yeah, it is your job. But if you do it a little, I'm gonna. If you do it a little below expectation, yep, you're I'm gone. gonna come in and fill in what you didn't, do, and I'm just yeah. gonna become you. Yeah, no, yeah. Today, today it was you know because Vanity always she does all the research for us, and we're so thankful. That's why this podcast keeps getting better and better. It's because Vanity's effort, and now the now now it's starting to come with not only just here's the material. Now it's starting to come with hey. This is what you have to say. This is what you should say. Yeah. This is what you're going to do to the bonus. At 11 minutes, you're going to go into this. Now there's no mistakes anymore. No. It's feeling a little bit more German, and that's why I'm getting pewing in here. Yeah. And as, <laughs> as it, and if, you, and if you notice, she just keeps sitting increasingly closer to Zach. Yeah. Because make no mistake, she's going to 
correct him. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be corrected. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because if you go to our fucking Patreon, there is, again, another jihad for Zach's head. Yeah, because once We just can't keep these fans away from Zach. I I'm, don't even upload them anymore. They just... They I know, <laughs> but they're upset. <laughs> it's just a thing whenever there's a mistake. They yeah, have a, yeah. They're upset about the volume levels. Yeah. They're upset about the sound effect volume levels. Yeah. And I think pretty soon they're going to start camping out outside the studio, and they're yeah. going to try to cut your head off. Yeah. It's what it is. Yeah, even, even my manager... The truffle pig, he just called me out there. He's like, oink, 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 Zach. Oink, 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 oink. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then he got mad at the audio levels. But, yeah. yeah. So. Should we we should weigh Shang-Chi on that? I mean, I just... Um, I'm just making pig sounds. Yeah, you speak not um, anything wrong to me. I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm not generalizing. Okay. I'm just saying him specifically because no. he finds little truffle money bags. Yeah, it's not a. Th- it's not because of he that he happens to be Jewish. You're saying no. it because he happens to be a manager in comedy, and he they're could, all he, they're all truffle picks. Yeah, they're all truffle picks. They yeah. find the money, no matter what it their background is. They're Jew. It has nothing, truly nothing to do with being. They're Jewish, parasitical say, truffle picks. If yeah, if he was a Catholic kid, I would still call because he's just excellent at finding the money. He's got to sniff out. He's got to sniff out the money. Yeah, and he listens what it is because he smells some money. So now. Now he hears he hears what's going on. Much like a lot of our expressions, yeah, we just we're have not to... getting rid of the Patreon. No, and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, much like most of our expressions, we just have to distance ourselves from the original meaning of them. Yeah, because we're not losing them because they're too funny. But you know, we got to distance ourselves. It's like the it's like cocksucker. Cocksucker is too funny a thing. Yeah, but it started out as a gay slur. But it's nobody cares about yeah. that now anymore. But you know what? It's starting to get to the point now where I think it's not. We're not there yet. But I was I was telling you this Bob Maneri on Instagram, who's he's got that really funny um Instagram account where he like does uh announcer voices over like funny video over uh actual sports videos and he like curses and it's like whatever. And on Saturday he put up a video of a of a football player, I forgot what team, a college team, and his last name was F A G G O T or F A G O T. Yeah. So it's like faggot, but it's actually pronounced Fago. Yeah. And he did this whole video. It was like, Dad, what a touchdown kick for Jack Faggot. And he just, <laughs> and the crowd screams, Faggot, Faggot. And he just kept screaming it, right? Yeah. And that was the video he posted. I'm not yeah. like that. I'm regurgitating what he said. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, he got all this hate mail that was like, no, it's Fago, it's Fago, it's Fago. So he makes a video. Mm-hmm. And he says, you know, I apologize. I shouldn't have said that word, faggot, and it's Fago, and we should have done our research. And he's like, me and Peter, who's his imaginary partner in the thing, but it's really all him. And he goes, but to the people, because he's a bu- he's also the voice of Buffalo Wild Wings. He was like, he was like to the people who were like, you know, buff- or telling me I'm going to lose my Buffalo Wild Wings sponsor. He's like, I'm not at all. He goes, I need th- they need me more than I need them. He said, so I apologize for the video. Yeah. I'm sorry. He said, I love all people. I have no problem with gays. So stop trying to cause a fucking problem. It's yeah. not going to happen. He was like, I'll see you in Bu-. And he said to Buffalo Wild, he's like, I'll see you in the studio on Monday. Yeah, because they need his following and, and That's what I'm saying. power so to the people My now. point is, is that is that like, you know, in a little bit, it's like this whole like cancel culture is starting to slow down just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, we're going to get canceled eventually, but. No, it is, no, we're not. And it is slowing down because, um, yeah, we are the business now. Comedians are the business. It's we, what it is. They need our fan bases. We build things organically because it's the only organic thing left. Everything else is publicist paid for and just bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And, should, and, we t- should we tell them the truth about, about our article? The truth, of, the, the truth about our article? Yeah, because even Zach said he was like, a, you know. It was a great, great write-up. Yeah, I mean, I'm a good writer, so it's yes, just what, what it is. is. Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, what I was is. getting messages from everybody. Yeah. Well, good. It's out there now. It's out there now. Yeah. So expect more from powerful news sources, like saying that they like our stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. CNN just wrote a nice article about us. It'll get it's getting posted tomorrow. I was you'll, told. Be, you'll be seeing Wild. it soon. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah, and it's like, listen, guy. You know, it's like, listen. <laughs> whoever made that clip and sent it to Keeping Joe, here's one for you to make too. It's like, listen, guy. Yeah. This is nobody cares. Yeah. Okay. It's not serious. We're we're in comedy. Yeah. Okay. This little inside high school stuff where we make fun of each other. It's all in good fun, but it's not real. Nobody cares. It does, okay. Yeah. Louis J. Gomez and Nicole Arbor. No, Louis Joe. Go- nobody cares. Yeah. Okay. Do your fucking tour together or whatever. And the stupid little vendetta you got. Nobody cares. Yeah. It's not a real problem. It's all show business, yeah. baby. Yeah. This is. It's all. Everything has become show business. Yeah. Including media. You know how wrestling calls itself sports entertainment. Yeah. Media should just start calling each, itself media entertainment. Yeah. Because you're entertainment. You're not real news anymore. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Fake news Trump 2020, it's a character piece. It's a character piece. It's what it is. I got a DM from Patty. I got a, I got a, I got a DM from the real Patty Flyballs. From the real Patty Flyballs. I did. You, right? And he said, yeah, guy, Trump 2020 guy. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just what it is. And I just said Trump 20. I just said Trump train, yeah. Yeah. It's so true. it's a lot of, it's a character piece. It's a character piece. Yeah, I now, do we're going to talk about character. Prohibition today, and it's going to be fucking wild. You know a lot about Prohibition. You go peering for Prohibition. You wanted to do Prohibition for the live Gramercy Theater show, and I said, no, we got we to gotta talk about the firefighters. Yeah. You know, look. November 9th. 
Yeah. Almost sold out. Yeah, here's the thing, guys. Show at it. We got to use the right term. Show at it. Yeah, guy. Yeah, show at it. That's what people then people start to go pewing. Oh, these kids are selling tickets. Show at it. Exactly. Well, it's true. Which is technically true, but yeah. It is technically true. Yeah. We sold out the first one. Now yeah, we should be at a show. sold out, I mean about halfway full. Yeah, so go ahead. No, we, that's not true, though. That actually is not true. But no, a joke. We, we got about only, we, there's truly about, I think there's like 30 there's tickets left. single digit tickets left. Oh, yeah, that yeah, too. That is true. That is absolutely true, yeah. but reality is a suggestion. Reality is a suggestion. It doesn't matter, but, okay? But the, but, the, but the truth is it is very low single digits. It truly – It no, could be sold out right now. It actually could be. I'm, yeah. wh- we got to call one of the truffles. Yeah, one of the truffles. Oh, oh, we'll text him, and then when he gets out of synagogue, he'll get him back to me. Yeah, but again, the truffle has nothing to do with that he's going to synagogue. No, it's just – It's no. just Chris, he yeah. can't help himself. Can I get a – can we clear the Wait, air, sir, please? He's yeah. doing, How you doing? That's my friend Patty Mulroney. He's never been to the city. First time he brought his passport to the Brooklyn Bridge. We went there. You got to excuse him. He's never met a Jew in person. You yeah. know, a couple firefighters, and we will pull you out of fire no matter what your political – Persuasion saw. Yeah, it's what it's just if, yeah. if you voted Hillary, it'd just be a little slower. It just might be a little slower if you're if you're a Democrat. Yeah, and, that's but, what it is. I think, yeah, guys like I think they just move up the stairs a little slow in certain neighborhoods. Yeah, and also we have on occasion called in a fire that there wasn't a fire and we did it. We did show up at the scene to get over time. Yeah, that did it's happen. It's just what it is. We yeah, it's yeah. what it is. And there also have been a couple of times where we saw some people that look like Democrats and we just hit them with the fire hose. It's just <laughs> <laughs> we probably need. Is that a cack? Yeah. Is that a cackle? We, no, we just have to clean them off a little. Yeah, that's, we have it, to clean off the yeah, democracy. Yeah, ladder four did. And yeah, can I get away from Gene Zach if that button works? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. That clears the air. That clears the air. It's a character piece. Yeah, no, no, what we, yeah, like let's. So why don't we get in? You want to get into the history right now? Let's do that. I do. Okay. Because now you prohibition for first, you. First of all, because you know a lot more about it than I do. Yeah, but well, I know about it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. First of all, well, it's your people. This is something you should be very interested in. Sauce monkeys. In. No, you're not Germans. a sauce monkey. It was funny because, yeah, some kid um, was trying to diss Sebastian Maniscalco when I did that impression of him at the comedy karaoke. What were they saying? They what said, they, what Chris, was this they, asshole saying? Well, he said, Chris, I, he said, no, thank you. I want Chrissy D to be our, our Italian representative. I said, Chrissy D's not Italian. The only, thing, yeah. the only thing Italian about Chrissy is the name De Stefano. Yeah. You look at you. I mean, and much like a German kid, yeah. you're a handsome kid, but I told you you're peaking now because your skin, you're starting to fall apart. Why? What's going on? What happens is you guys start drinking. Yeah. I mean, you start moving a lot of vegetables. Yeah. Am I starting to fall apart now already? No, you're still a good looking kid, but you guys get, you don't have the skin of Greeks. Right. You see how Venetia's got that uh, fucking perfect skin? Yeah. You guys get reddish yeah. and, and like translucent. You got the skin. You really do have the skin tone of like a, a shower liner. Yeah. So as you get over like 40, once you hit 40. The skin starts to get bad. You guys all look weathered like you climb Mount yeah, Everest. Yeah, pimple too. You got, like, you got like wind burn on your face. Yeah. Yeah, but that's because of the booze. You guys can't keep your fucking pauper paws <laughs> off a of bruise. Oh, yeah. You love bruise. Yeah, I, was, I threw down a few bruises in Wisconsin. Yeah, you yeah. like bruise. By the way, shout out to the people who came to comedy uh, on state. What a great fucking club in Madison, Wisconsin. And yeah, I ate a lot of beers, a lot of cheese curds. Yeah, and shout yeah. out to the couple cute kids that fucking came down uh, to Jamestown, New York. We're going to be going back there. Uh, Francesca, uh, Francesca, how you doing? I know you're listening right now. She's a fan of the hyenas. That's yeah. why she brought me out. Bring us back. Bring the hyenas for the Lucille Ball Fest. Yeah, Lucille so. Ball is probably one of the funniest female comedians of all time. Yeah, she comedians. definitely is, and she's from she's from um, yeah she's from Jamestown, New York. We'll do an episode on Jamestown because we gotta it, do an episode on Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball too. We do. We uh, we absolutely do. But here's the thing about prohibition, Chrissy. Yeah, what is it? Because you're you're a German kid, and you kids can't keep your fucking paw paw paws or bruise. What it you is? love creating bruise. So the the big advocates to be anti-prohibition, to start it off from here, were German kids. German-Americans. German-Americans who were- They wanted the booze. Were making the booze. Well, yeah. they, were, they were behind the big companies. Look at all the German names. Bush. Am Heiser Bush. Yeah. Uh, Yingling. Um, who's the other one? We have Bush. We have Budweiser. These are all Germans. Yeah. So they brought the, the beer here. Yeah. yeah. And then we had all these Protestant- um, you know, Germans are Protestant. You know, a lot of them are Lutheran, wherever the fuck they are. But they don't care. They just want to clean. They, yeah. So yeah, they don't care about. Yeah. So as long as you're not a certain religion, they don't care. Yeah. So yeah. they were they were the they were the big beer makers. Yeah. But the guys who really love booze were these factory workers. 
And you know, yeah, still to this day, and and Irish kids, yeah. So the Irish kids came here, and they were like, they worked at the factories, and they were like, you know what? I'm gonna go have a fucking couple of bros, yeah. And a couple turned into ten, and the next thing you know, they were fucking, you know, not yeah. eating lunch and just drinking beer like yeah. your friend party flyboys, yeah. Yeah, because brews to them, yeah, because because liquor. That's to like them, a meal for them. Well, no, alcohol to them, it's kind of like it's kind of like the cement mix to bury their problems. <laughs> it's what it that's is. what it is. That's they a good need, way to put it. That's what they need. It, they, they need that. They need that cement mix solution, that dirt, to fucking fully bury their issues. It, it only alcohol is the thing that does it. Yeah, and so a lot of the, you know, we we always what I've noticed in being a history lover and why prohibition and an FF and an FF a full blown stone FF. cold guy because I'm full blown and stone you're cold. Full blown stone yeah. cold. I mean, you're, you're just as I, the more days than not. I would say five out of seven days a week. You now you're mostly estrogen. Where it used to be, you know, three to four out of seven. Like, but ever yeah. since you've been married, you're just mostly estrogen. I mean, your wife has a wife, and it's you. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I, <laughs> when you get married, you do kind. Of, it's almost like being a eunuch. Yeah, it's like, well, the real Mrs. Pompas, please stand up. Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. two of us, and we're in a lesbian relationship. It's what it is. Yeah, we had a gay marriage. Yeah, and I just happened to be there and witness it. Yeah, you were. I support everything. Yeah, and we got some good photos there because we did have some really good photos, and I ripped the fart during the photo shoot. You did, and it cracked everybody up. You cracked your brother up, and then he shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. the thing that I've noticed about studying American history from our inception you have to understand we were founded by a bunch of honks from yes. Europe who came over to to escape religious persecution they wanted to be fucking yes. Protestant kids yeah. they wanted to escape um, the Catholic Church they yes. wanted to escape whatever and do their thing they wanted to be Quakers they wanted to be Protestants whatever Lutherans whatever they are they want to be. so that's what they came here for right um, but they, which is, it's so funny. This, this is the interesting thing to me. Mm -hmm. Is like, every movement always goes too far. There's always overcorrection. It always yep. goes too far. Starting at the founding of our country. These people were, they were escaping persecution. And then they came here and they started burning women. Yes. On faggots. Yes. Now, faggots is... The wood underneath. There you go. So that they okay, burn them blogger, on. Okay? So and sorry. Also, and if I was in England and I said, "Can yeah. I get a fag?" It's yeah. cigarette. One for the good Nazis. Yeah, yeah. Wei Shang Xing, Zach. Wake up. Wei Shang Xing. Um. So they started burning women for being witches, and yeah. they, they they became they came here to escape persecution, and then as Puritans, which is the founding of our country, was yeah. by Puritans. Puritanical comes from for that expression comes from what they were doing. Sure, you know, you did anything outside of the lines of what they yeah. prescribed. You were getting tied to a piece of wood and set on fire. You were you were getting you exactly That's what it was. You were a witch or something was wrong. Sure, with you. everything always goes too far. So that puritanical urge, yep, is it's it's part of our fabric. That puritanical tendency, yeah. keeps manifesting itself. In, in different times, in different ways. Yeah. But the anatomy of it is the same thing. And it's American. It's fucking uniquely American. Uniquely American. Because when you go to Europe and stuff like that, you know, they're very liberal about sex sure. and things like that. America, we have that puritanical shame yeah. that's attached to sex. Yeah. You know, and it's um, it shows in our TV how, like, we talked yeah. about. Was that with the Michael Cost shows, episode? Where, like, you see guys shooting each other, no problem. Violence is okay. But, you know, you see one titty. You can't even show a penis. You can't do that. You know? I, I mean, yeah. which is weird. And it's like you can't show sex, but like the French, the whole movie is just like a woman banging a dude. Yeah, and then you have, and then you, because once you start, stop, once you start being open and honest about these things, even with alcohol, you know, in when I was in Scotland, uh, I'm sorry, when I was in uh, England in Newcastle this summer, when I just immediately left because I got a stomachache and I just missed Giannis um, when I left four days before, um, when I came back home to the United States. Uh, the kids that were drinking there that were 16, 17, 18 years old, there's no shame associated with being an alcoholic in the UK. And I'm sure in country, other European countries as well. I just saw it first in the UK. There's no shame in alcoholism. It's a family problem. AA doesn't exist really because AA is a shameful thing here. It's like, oh, alcohol's anonymous. Do you, shh. They don't look at it that way. They're like, oh, if you're addicted to alcohol, you can drink alcohol. We encourage it. We want you to, you know, be able to celebrate with us. So, just if it starts to get out of hand, your family deals with it, and you're not shamed for it. You just say, "Oh, he has to work on. He or she have to work on this," as opposed to being thrown out of your family and, "Oh, go to this anonymous place and you know basically repent for your sins." That's that's what that is. That's right. all. That's also puritanical. Right. Well, you know the prohibition and 
And by the way, can I just real quick say something? Sure. Just real quick. It's a little off topic, but just, just to the people who are going crazy Uh-oh. that the Houston Astros beat the New York Yankees Steel pipe. and talk about, oh, Houston's the city uh, yeah. up and coming. Because it's like, I don't know where this fucking idea keeps coming from that yeah. Houston is this somewhat close city to New York City. Let me fucking tell you one thing. Be crystal. And listen to me fucking loud and clear crystal right now. Crystal clear. New York City's history yeah. is embedded in this fucking country yeah. more than you even know. Yeah. Okay? Because here's one thing I know. Yeah. This city used to be called no, before it was New, New York, Amsterdam. what was it? New Amsterdam yeah. by the fucking Dutch. That's okay? right. Tall kids. The Dutch, the tall fucking kids before England even wanted to take it in the late 1600s because England just wants to get their fucking pauper paws on shit too. Yeah. New Amsterdam was the melting pot of this new world. Bef- the, the reason why the British even wanted to get their fucking paws on it was because of New Amsterdam, which would one day be New York City because in New Amsterdam, you had 18 to 20 different languages being spoken at every, any given time on any given street because the pride of New York City yeah. is we're a melting pot and we're all eclectic and everything that New York stands for yeah. is what these is what people, when they would leave New Amsterdam, they would just take it and start to go settle west. But make no mistake, the idea was New York. The idea was New Amsterdam. The people born and raised in New Amsterdam said, we like our lives here. Let's move west to places like Houston yeah. and all these other cities that just became great cities yeah. like Chicago yeah. and Los Angeles and yeah. all these other cities that became good cities. The reason why they came became good cities, yeah. the fucking, the nucleus of the cell of every other city's life, make no mistake, is New York City. Yeah. So when I start to hear people talk shit about New York City, it's like, listen, guy. Here it is. It's like you're talking shit about your own cells, yeah. okay? Because you are you only exist because New Amsterdam existed and you weren't fucking chosen and geography is destiny and Jesus Christ himself right. pointed to guys like me and yeah. you and said I want you guys to live in the heart of the fucking cell right. you guys are the nucleus. heartbeat of these, are the nucleus of the cell yeah. so we're going to put you in New York City and these other faggots you go to Houston <laughs> <laughs> also you, you gotta know we got the best water Shout out Smithtown Water Department. Shout out Smithtown Water Department and also it's Randy Gruder Department. And Houston Astros, you suck. Your best play is fucking short fucking kid like the situation. <laughs> yeah, so that was a little steel pipe Christy right Sorry there. Sorry about that. It's, I know it's a little went a little off no, guy, hand, but it's just, guy, I'm just I can I'm tell you little... tired of people fucking talking about New York City. It's the whole thing starts with New Amsterdam and that's New York City. And either you were chosen to live there or either you're, either you're a New Yorker and you're tolerable and people like you or you just have to play pretend. It's like I got to play pretend play pretend that somebody from Cincinnati is interesting. Yeah. You're not interesting. Right. Your city's not interesting. I got to just play pretend with you and I'm fucking getting sick of it. Yeah. I'm sick and tired of going to these cities fucking going on the road and be like, I love your city. I don't. (laughs) I want to go home back to New York because the only thing that matters is this. Yeah. Without the Northeast, nobody cares. Yeah. ISIS isn't going to go fucking invade Cincinnati. They don't need it. Yeah. But New York and Boston get hit. Yeah, it's because a, it's it really it's like this whole world lately is just let's play pretend and let's make believe that everybody's it's not. There's yeah. New York, Boston, and a couple other places, and that's about it, guys. Yeah, and you know it used to be that like listen, guy, you had to be able to sell tickets and impress New Yorkers to make it in any art form, guy. guy. Now you just some fucking you got some. Guy or a girl prancing in from some place, and then they make them a star. It's like, listen, guy, you haven't impressed New Yorkers yet. Yeah. You're not a real comedian. You don't impress me. Yeah. yeah. You're not impressive. Yeah. Because we're the realest people. Yeah. The Northeast is the realest people. And yeah, Chrissy's right. You can act like New York's not the new Rome, but we're just playing pretend. We just play pretend. We're pretend. We are the, the modern Roman Empire, yeah. and New York is Rome, the yeah. city of Rome. Yeah. So just deal with it. Yeah. New York, New York. Yeah. Drinking the smoothie. Yeah. Yeah, from All the right, Bill so, Burr sorry, yeah, so Even Prohibition. I mean, nobody even cared that they weren't allowed to sell alcohol at any of the places. But when they started, when they said you can't sell in New York City, then we had an issue. Yeah. And by the way, Chrissy just shit on Cincinnati. We're, we're hoping to come to Cincinnati. Yeah, I'd love to. Shout out Liberty Funny Bone. I love your town. Yeah, we're definitely just going to figure out how to get down there. And Cincinnati is really, really important. No, I do love those cities. Obviously, yeah. I was just kidding. That was a little bit of a character piece. This is me right now. This yeah. is Chris. Hi, yeah. how are you? Um, I just went a little wild. Yeah. And um, I love the cities. I shout out Madison, Wisconsin. The only reason he was saying that is because that's stupid and he likes New York because those are where the black guys are. Yes, and this is Max. It's a character piece. Yeah. yeah. So, I only had a yeah. problem with Cincinnati because I thought there'd be more black guys. So there's not enough black guys there, so that's the real problem. Yeah, we're just kidding. Yeah, we're just two Bavarian hot guys looking for black guys. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and also because we're just doing character pieces. Yeah, we're just doing character pieces. And there's been a couple of girls I've been talked to that say they don't want to hold hands. That it's weird about holding hands. And one of these girls told me that she she has mental illness. I was like, what's your mental illness? And she said ADD. I was like, you can't just fucking start saying shit like that. Yeah. now. that's not a mental illness. No, guy. no. All right, lady. No, you're not a mental illness. No. You don't want to hold hands. You have ADD. It's like get what the fuck are you doing? Get out of the city. No, walk. Some people move to the city. They can't handle it. They start to snap. No, walking 15 miles to go to the gym and wearing headphones. That's a fucking mental that's illness. That's a mental illness. Hey, he burned. We're just kidding. It's We're a just kidding. Piece. I'm just, I'm just, just kidding around. If joking. you see him in the street, don't throw peanut butter. At yeah, him. just joking. All right, everyone's got to thicken their skin. All right, yeah, hey all Joe right. podcast or whatever. Yeah, Everyone thicken your relax. fucking skin. Yeah. We're just joking. You yeah. guys are all great comics. We love y'all. Take your shots at us, but you better keep it comedy because if you want to get Wild. physical, we'll take all yeah, of we'll you. Take, that's another thing too. As far as podcasts, other than Joe Rogan and Brendan Schaub, anybody else who wants to st- and Brian Callen because they kick your throw hands. Yeah, throw I'll hands. beat the shit out of any other podcast, <laughs> including you, Schultz. <laughs> Wild. Schultz could throw hands. No, Schultz could throw hands. And yeah. I just, I also just mentioned Schultz because I'm trying to get clickbait. Yeah. I want the kids followers. <laughs> the kids are fucking. We're trying to hang on to Schultz. Yeah. I mean, look, because Schultz, Schultz, Schultz is the general, and we're, make no mistake, Schultz is the general of the New York Podcast Army, and we're high up lieutenants, though. Yeah. Schultz, how Schultz, how Rogan made all these other guys. We're we're on the Schultz train. Yeah. We've been Schultz since day one. Yeah. Okay? Schul- yeah. Schultz, Schultz is a screwed in kid. Schultz is the the most screwed in kid. I mean, he the just, Joker video was a ten out of ten. Yeah. He just the kid's a ten out of ten. He's ten out of ten, and he's working his guys to death. Yeah. He's working. His he's, guy. He says he's not German, but that name Schultz is German. I think his father might have been a Nazi who escaped yeah. to Argentina yeah. and moved no, up I mean, here. He gave that kid Akash Singh a fucking full career. I mean, that kid was two feet away from opening up his own halal car. <laughs> Way song she ain't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean, Chrissy, you're yeah. just here. You're yeah, present. It's just what it is. I'll you forget still all. Of Chrissy, this. present. present. Yeah. I will forget all of this tomorrow. I'm I'm in a blackout right yeah, now. Yeah, you're in a fucking blackout. All of yeah. my mind is just seeing Father Bill smash his cock against my forehead and try to make the sign of the cross and come. It's what so it I'm is. I'm just blacked out. Yeah, we went to Ridgewood too. <laughs> we did a little sightseeing. There's four sights to see. Yeah. One of them's Rudy's. <laughs> Nazis used to get their pastries there. It's what it is. It's just a true the story. Nazis sold tickets and they got black and whites from my local bakery. I mean, Ridgewood was a Nazi fucking loving neighborhood. Yeah, it's it was what all it is. German. It's what it is. Yeah. So it's good to go to that. We, not, we, yeah. We go finally ahead. went to Rudy's. The, the Linza tarts are great. I think it's hilarious that there's a neighborhood that has Linza tarts in them because, like, Linza tarts is like. That's like a Nazi cookie. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a little Nazi treat. It's a Nazi biscuit. Because I want to fucking hunt down whoever gave that review. That review bothered me. I know. You get bent out of shape I, about that That fucking stuff. bothered me. I'm going to find... Because we could just... We're like the yeah. Joker. We could just send uh, hyena fans after yeah. people. Venetia is starting to look at us now a little... We she wants get to get into the fucking history. So once Venetia... I can see Venetia start looking and... Well, it's his fault. He took out the pipe and he started fucking hitting yeah. every state. I He's probably- like, listen, Cincinnati, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Everything in Texas? Suck my dick, guy. Yeah. Look, if you're in the Northwest, <laughs> fuck you. You're not important. Yeah. The only thing that matters is New York. Yeah. yeah. Cause fucking Frank Sinatra, and that's it. Yeah. Um. So what is prohibition, guys? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 So we. Yeah. So. So, so back to the pure. Back to prohibition. Time. Sorry. Back to the puritanical <laughs> tendency that rears its head. At this time, prohibition started to rear its head. A lot of it can probably be blamed on how hard Irish kids drank right. as factory workers yes. and blue collar workers you know and so a lot of it, the prohibition movement was really started right. by protestant women women protestant women groups these temperance groups because they were tired of getting disciplined uh, yeah, kind of. Seriously, I mean, probably so right. Shame. They was tired of getting drunk and fucking and hit. Yeah, and you know, and they, you know, back then you got your pay, and these guys would get their pay at the yeah. factory, and then they would go and they would spend it on booze at the saloon, and they would gamble, and so it's like so they were destroying their families. Yeah, it was yeah, destroying their it. families, and so, but it was also, you know, it's probably not that many people doing it. Right. That's how xenophobia works, right? It's sure. like. The new guys come along, the Muslims got like most Muslims are just normal people doing whatever they're doing, you know, throwing yeah. sheets over their head, just doing their own thing, just cooking great food. Yeah. But like a few Wearing sandals twelve months a year. Whatever it is, yeah. yeah. You know, you know, same thing. And then a few of them do that, and then like a few of them, you know, do something bad or whatever, and then they all get stereotyped. That's how xenophobia works. Sure. So it's probably a few Irish kids that got a little too hammered. And yeah. then, like all all of a sudden, xenophobia kicks in, where you, they just generalize, and 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 then Protestants start being, you know, for all intents and purposes, racist against Irish. Because sure. this was really kind of like 
the, uh, prohibition was really kind of like masked racism against Irish because everyone loved to drink. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's not just the Irish kids who were drinking. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you came across a British kid in your life, but those kids love to drink they gin. Love it. They got a red nose. They're drinkers. They're big drinkers. Yeah. So it was mostly women, and this puritanical urge we were talking about started to rear its head and manifest itself in this prohibition movement. Right. It used to be like she's a witch because she said something that's not, you know, a Christian or whatever, or right. she's acting or she, she got pregnant. In a Whatever. way, she's Yo, a witch. Or if they would even even like I remember from uh, this episode is not about the Salem witch trials, but I remember there was even a case of a woman who's um didn't get her period in four or four or five months, but also wasn't pregnant. So they were like, there must be witchcraft. Right. Meanwhile, it's like endometriosis. Yeah, it always just goes too far. It's <laughs> I don't know this... why I got a specific gynecological condition. Yeah, you're... I just know a lot about the body. You're a doctor. Uh, yeah, I got a doctorate. Too. Yeah, I mean, you know, we did spend a little time with Aunt Eileen this weekend. Oh, yes, we did. And she's not a fan of the situation. Yeah, and I took a few, I snuck a few pictures of her and you know, I was talking, I'll post them on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? Yeah, I just took a few. Yeah. Um, so much like and it, she showed, she had a firefighter's uh, sweater on. She did have a firefighter's sweater, and she's definitely not a fan. Yeah, it's true. and my mother would phrase. No, things she funny. is. They they work it out. No, but my it's mother, just, and my mother was funny because she yeah. would phrase things. You know, because you would ask her questions about the neighborhood. She's like, you know, the neighborhood it's changing. It's changed. She was like, but it looks like it's changing back. She was like, it was changing, and 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 she was like, and it was a, uh, you know, it was a change. She's like, but now it's just changing back. If you know what I mean, and I'm like, yeah, I know what we you know. Mean. We know what she meant. Yeah, the leaves are changing, and so are the colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. anyway, also on patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, now that you can also check in with Aunt Eileen, she yeah. does. She checks, she leaves voicemails for her, her nephew, Christopher, who she loves very much, and she just wants him to stay on the right path. They were worried about him when he stopped being a doctor, but once they saw him on TV doing skits, everything was okay. But you yeah. know, yeah. he's got a friend from Park Slope, so that's good. Yeah, they were happy to see you. So you can also yeah. check in. There will be Aunt Eileen episodes on yeah. Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. So back to prohibition yeah, for Venice. It was funny when they found that you were smoking cigarettes because my mom was like, oh, I didn't know Yana smoked cigarettes. And Aunt Eileen was like, Oh, we smoked cigarettes. He smoked cigarettes so he could come and sit on the stoop with me and we could share, you know, yeah, a spot. And- yeah. She's like, Let me go get my saltines. Yeah. I mean, your mother and your aunt are two German Irish women. Yeah. From, from, from Brooklyn. Yeah. Queens. Yeah. It's just what it is. Yeah. No, and make no mistake, the only reason I'm even alive and have anything going for me in my life positive is because of them. Because, I mean, Barney Rubble was on a fucking course to just throw it all away it's what it is and, and Lynn and Anna Lee would not let it happen and when we get huge muscle like Andy Kaufman what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two lucky fans they're gonna come with us to Ridgewood yeah we're gonna sit on the neutrals and we're gonna eat Lynn's of Tarts from Ruzies it's what it is that's what yeah. we're gonna do yeah the neutrals we're gonna sit on them and have a conversation with them and Isis is gonna film it and it's just that's what we're gonna do for our Patreon uh, yeah guys the key to life is hydration yeah oh, you mean like some waters no cause I'm talking about a little special product called liquid IV. Liquid IV, liquid yummy. I heard that that thing has more vitamin C than an orange and more potassium than a banana. Because water's not enough if you're dehydrated. Yeah. You need potassium, you need sodium, you need your glucose levels to be right. You yeah. notice because you're a doctor. I'm fucking doctor because one stick of liquid IV in a 16 ounce of water could give as much hydration as two or three bottles of plain water. Because you've been on a water app, you should just forget the water app. Stop drinking water. Just start drinking Liquid IV. I already have because they sent me some free ones to my house. Guess what? Liquid IV is also donating Liquid IV to hospitals and stuff for COVID patients to keep them hydrated because make no mistake, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military need to get their water. They need to get their water. All you got to do is go to liquidiv.com. Use the promo code WILD. You're going to get 25% off anything you order. I mean, that's insane. LiquidIV.com. Use the promo code WILD. You get 25% off any of your hydration needs. It's wild. All you do is you take the Liquid IV stick, you put it in the water, you mix it all around. They got great flavors like strawberry, other flavors, and it's delish, and it's healthy for you, and you get all the elements you need to stay hydrated. Because for a long time, I just thought it was, I thought it was Liquid the 4th because I was looking at Roman numerals. Yeah, because what is it's history. Liquid IV. It's Liquid the 4th. LiquidIV.com, promo code WILD. All right, look. I mean, cuz, you got a nice beard. I got a nice beard, and I tell you what, since everyone stopped going to church, you can grow your hair out now without saying, you know, cut, cut your hair. Yeah, you could do that easy. And you know what's been good is Duke Cannon. And you know what's nice about Duke Cannon 
is Duke Cannon. First of all, you get it at Target. You go to DukeCannon.com. All you got to do is go to DukeCannon.com. It's for your beard. And Duke Cannon, it's one of those things where it's like it's a product for your beard, but it also could be the name of your beard. Yeah. You know or, what I mean? Or it could be a good porn star's name. Yeah. Imagine a guy named Duke Cannon. Yeah. I mean, a kid's got a piece. He's packing if your name's Duke Cannon. Duke Cannon, cuz. It's a nice, nice name. And, um, I mean, everybody loves going to Target. I mean, when you go to Target, you're just going to find things. Now go look for Duke Cannon. When you're there, they got beard. They got the best damn beard oil you've ever seen. And they also got the best damn beard bomb. So if you got beard oil and beard, cause, and here's the thing, because we just live in a very progressive society. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. If you want to get your beard cute, <laughs> use Duke Cannon. Yeah. I mean, you got beard wash, beard oil, and best damn beard bomb yet yeah, bomb. Yeah, try to say that three times. Beard bomb. Best beard, best, best damn be beard bomb. Yeah. It's the best damn beard bomb. Basically, these are products to make your fucking beard look Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, cause make 2021 the year you make 2021 the year you help your beard fulfill its potential with high quality beard goods from Duke Cannon. Yeah. Pick pick some up the next time you're at a Target or visit DukeCannon.com to peruse the full uh, full line of uh, the cameras blocked. I mean, just go to Target and get Duke Cannon. They're paid big money. <laughs> We'll do an episode from the neutrals at some point. So when we get, so at a thousand, just real quick, and then back to Prohibition, at a thousand Patreon members, if you go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, I, we are going to reenact the scene from Greece. I'm going to dress up like Sandra D. Jan's going to dress up like John Travolta. We're going to reenact the scene uh, from Greece, sing uh, the Sandra D. song. Yeah. Um, when we get to a thousand Patreon members, when we get to 1,500 Patreon members, we'll do a live episode from the neutral staircase in Ridgewood. Yeah, with two lucky Patreon with members. two lucky Patreon members. Who will, who will win a contest and we'll come and we'll eat Lindsay Tarts and you'll be our guest. Yeah, that's right. And we is. will do the podcast yeah. from the neutrals. Yeah, and if you're a girl, you can get cracked on my childhood bed. Yeah, which is a single. And his v his VHS is still in there. Yeah, and let's be honest. Even if you're a guy, you might get cracked. <laughs> it's what it is. It's what it is. I'm spinning the wheel. Okay, back to prohibition. Yo. Yeah. Uh, so it started where it said. So you know, xen xenophobia is tied in to prohibition, and so these groups started to pop up. These 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 uh, and they would these female like Protestant kind of temperance groups, right? V, they were called temperance groups or. Which we're, temperance we're going to talk about on the Patreon episode only, though. Yeah. So let's tease temperance. We're, temperance is a fascinating topic, but that's for our Patreon members only. So yeah. patreon.com, Bay Ridge Boys. So they would, they would actually go outside of the saloons and pray. And pray and like block really? and like protest. They're kind of they remind me of the woke kids of today who like block traffic. I was just gonna say wokeness is xenophobia too. Wokeness is that in a way puritanical uh, that puritanical tendency rearing its head. Yeah, it, it, and that's why when I was when I was in Savannah. By the way, you have to go to the Prohibition Museum down there. It's unbelievable. And I was walking through. It's so well curated. It's it's one of the best experiences i've had in a museum it's so unbelievable and that let me tell you something that's saying a lot because yanni the kid loves music i'm stone cold i mean he's been to every museum in new york city and he loved like a day a great day for Giannis is to take the ferry and get off get a smoothie and go to a museum it's that's number one that's what it is that's number one thing for him yeah it's yeah. it's so good that museum it's so yeah. well curated they have a speakeasy in there they do live music in there. After the museum shuts down, you can go in there and drink. Did you go in there with your wife? We didn't go at night, but um, we went. We went during the day to the whole thing. It, they have a story. They take you through the story of prohibition from the rise, the yeah. peak, and the fall. And that's ine that's inevitably what happened. If you've seen Boardwood, Boardwork, uh, Boardwalk Empire, yeah, um, that's what it's about. Prohibition, yeah. Atlantic City, and prohibition. And it was a thirteen year run. It was a thirteen year run, and um, some some states. Had kept prohibition, prohibition as a state law. Yeah, I believe Oklahoma and Kansas kept it for up until, years after, right? Yeah. Up until the last state that stopped it was like the fifties or six, almost close to the sixties. Which state was that? I don't know. Are I they, just found it interesting though that like I thought that it was a, it was the consumption, but it's actually just the sale of alcohol that was not allowed. That you could. You can actually consume it, but you weren't allowed to sell it. So that's why bootlegging and well, yeah, well, and speakeasies. And in well. churches, you could still drink wine in church. Right. Like yeah. in Catholic Sunday Mass, you were still drinking the blood of Christ. There was a loophole for religion and a loophole for, for medicinal medicine. purposes. But what, what medicinal purposes were alcohol? You I, know, like, they, they, I don't it, know. It was much like the it, it was much like now, like oxys or whatever. You, you'd have some corrupt yeah. doctor going like he needs to, to – he has anxiety. He needs to calm down. He needs I, to drink it for whatever reason. I mean, reason. in a way, we've been living – in a way, I mean, because it's, it's obviously things are going to change. Like, we've been living for a long time for our whole lives in a prohibition of weed, right? I mean, weed has been legal. Marijuana, it, it's going to be like the same way that alcohol 
became legal to these people and they were getting it on a black market anyway. I think that's what it is with weed. We're in a modern day prohibition, which is very, I mean, it's going to change any day now where this is just going to be legal and the prohibition, if you will, of marijuana will be lifted because it's it was stupid for alcohol and it's stupid for weed. That's actually a great point. Thank you. That's Missi- actually a great Mississippi point. Mississippi was the last state in 1966. They so also m- last one to abolish slavery too. It was like it was like around that time. Like yeah. technically, it was still on their books. Like slavery was still written somewhere in their law, and like to like the late fifties. I mean, Fucking that, wa- that state is wild. Wild. Yeah. M i s s i s s i p p i. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just that it's name that it's that. I mean, we got to do an episode on Mississippi. I mean, the state is so it's so wild that place. And then we're gonna get on a plane. We're gonna go there. and We're gonna hunt for some cute because I guarantee there's yeah. cute shit there. Yeah, there's cute shit there. Sometimes you gotta it. just peel back a couple layers from yeah, a place and then find the cute. Find that fucking FTC, cute. Find the cute. Find the cute. Mississippi <laughs> officially. Uh, submitted the required documentation to ratify, to abolish slavery, the 13th Amendment, in 2013. Wild! <laughs> Wild! In February 2013. Listen, I mean, guys, you can't do that! Yeah, Mississippi, what, what are you doing, Mississippi? You can't do that. I mean, it's a wild state. That's a fucking wild. I mean, this wild. episode's not about Mississippi, but it just needs to be said that Mississippi is wild. Mississippi's fucking... Any I, fans from Mississippi, call in and tell us how fucking wild your, yeah, uh, your, your state is. Your state is full-blown Stone Cold Franks and Beans. Yeah, I mean, Eli Manning came from there, and Eli Manning played for Ole Miss, and I mean, k- kids got a Franks and Beans face. It's what it is. Yeah, the Giants are out. Yeah, the Giants are done. Um, okay, so... So this 13-year run, yeah. and... and and um, finally, it was ratified as the 18th Amendment that the distribution and selling of alcohol was illegal. And that set the course for the next 13 years of fucking wildness. Yeah. Because you can't, you, you can't, you can't just take away booze. People can't love booze. People have been drinking booze for thousands of years. Yeah. Now, here's a little bit of an uncomfortable truth um, to talk about uncomfortable truths. I love Northern European kids yep. generally, much like Native Americans, not as extreme as Native Americans, or even Asians who've been drinking alcohol for less of their history as a people. Okay. They sh- they don't have the 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 uh, the I don't know the science page, but it's like an enzyme, the enzyme or protein to break it down to break it down the way that Southern Europeans do. That's why the incidence of alcoholism is so much higher amongst Northern Europeans. So the stereotypes, like most stereotypes, Dude. do have a kernel of truth. They have a harder time with alcohol. There's more alcoholics, Dude. and alcohol of a, 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 is more of a problem in Northern Europe in Dude, all those countries. When I was a physical therapist, there's an actual condition. Only it's exclusive. To Northern, Euro- Northern European ancestry alcoholics, that's called a Dupuytren's contracture. These kids drink so much that their hands contract, and you can't, there's nothing we can do. It's just a Dupuytren's contracture, and it's only in Northern European kids. Yeah. So it's like the like you said, just like how Northern Europeans have an, like, people want to admit, like, with this, oh, we're all created equal. Absolutely treat everybody equally, of course, but it's like, we're so different, it's not even close. I mean, fucking Eastern Hemis have a gene in their body they don't smell. Right. The kids don't smell. Right. Like Koreans, they have this gene where they don't, they don't, they don't stink. Yeah. I mean, I could still smell them coming, but they don't smell. <laughs> I mean, we're all human. Wei Shang, Wei Shang Chien, thank yeah. you. I was just we're all around. like, we all like share, like we're, we're all the same. Like there, there really is, like we, we all like, if you go back far enough, there's like probably two kids that we're all related to. Yeah. You know? But two, we're also I'm, all probably different breeds though too. But we, 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 you know, if you, if you stay in one environment for a long time, you start to develop different traits. And it's absolutely true. It's we're fine, a little different. It's, it's okay to admit that. And culturally, like you know, it's I- It's okay to admit that. I think most of racism isn't really racism. It's more cultural. It's more sure. like people just can't, you know, they, they see another culture and they, they get away with it. You know, they just push it away. But even culture, we've, I know we've said it on the podcast, but it's like, even when people get bent out of shape about that, it's like, whatever your culture is, most likely, it's really what the enemies of your culture just forced down your throat after they conquered you and your people. That's what it is. Like, whatever you think your culture is, yeah. whatever you want to stand for, your culture, my, your, you know, your, you're taking my culture, what, what do they say, your, um... Uh, culture vulture. Your, culture, culture vulture. You're appropriating... Cultural appropriation. You're, appropriate, you're culturally appropriating this hairstyle, or this food, or this look, or this way. It's like, do you understand that your great, 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 great grandfathers would be spinning in their graves if they saw what you were doing because you think it's your culture but it's really the enemy that conquered you a thousand years ago just fucking blasted their culture through you and now everyone just absorbs it through osmosis so there's real it's just where a common human there's a common human identity yeah that you lead with that yeah as opposed to all this other oh i'm this and i'm th-. even oh even your country it's like what is your country what are you talking about it's like what america it's just lines that some guy made up it's not real none yeah. of it's real yeah 
as 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 fake as a, a god of a religion is, so is so are the flags. I mean, I fucking stand by it, and I will not kneel when that national anthem comes on. I was about I'm to stand say, it up. No, I'm an American kid. I got a little concerned for a no, second. Listen, I'm an American kid, but it's even like I'm. Wa- I was watching. I was watching uh, yesterday on the plane a documentary about the sum. Uh, the Somme uh, uh, in World War One, the bloodiest battle in World War One. I, I think over a million people on the French, British, and German side uh, collectively were killed in a in like a three month war. It's like they were all died for nothing. Yeah. They didn't gain any. They gained like I think the Germans gained six hundred yards, and the British and the French gained like four hundred yards, and they died for. No- it was all stupid. It's like you're all the same. You're, we're all just these fucking babbling monkeys yeah. from different lines on a map that some guy created. It's not real. Yeah. No, you don't have to kill people over that. Yeah, I mean, but you do because then it's a, you know it's fucking population control. It's like guy can't sit in traffic. So unfortunately, your country sucks. I gotta blow it up. Yeah, I mean, we we, we <laughs> definitely we definitely gotta slow down making people at some point, especially in a few places. It's yeah. like it's like listen, guy. It's like, like yeah, China like, and India. You guys gotta slow down a little bit. Yeah, just stop. Stop it. Yeah, stop. There's too many of you guys. Do you think that there's a there could be a thing, and this may be fucking wild. Do you think like if you know when you get to a certain age, when you get to a sexual reproduction age, if your IQ is a certain level, they just got to main, they just got to snip you. Jesus Christ! Uh, Way song she ain't. Yeah, I mean, there's just German in there. It's just, those are just German that, bad ideas. Okay, those are I was, bad I just, I just German took ideas. It's a character piece. Yeah, it's a character. I mean, Tia earmuffs. It's not who I am. Yeah, I mean, talk about how <laughs> it's just people were different. There's a German kid right there. That just comes from a German brain. It was a, it was a bad Jesus idea. Jesus Christ! I'm drunk. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of World War One, thank yeah. you, Chris, for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah, Venetia, you got to be louder. Oh, okay. yeah, they can't yeah, hear you. Can't yeah, hear well, you know yeah. you're not a performer. You're not doing a character piece. I'm not. No, but no, you, no, no, but your voice is still dope. Yeah, Thanks. but you just much or, like a Greek no. woman and a Greek yeah. mother. She when when the when the when the public are watching, she's like, I'm just a sweet. That's what my mother used to do. She meet you in public. I'm just a sweet, quiet. Girl. And then when the cameras are off. Yeah. Sit over there, fucking do it. Yeah. She gets you going. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what were you saying, Vinatia? So um of course for so many years they were trying to make uh, Hold on, hold on a sec. Let's just for a second. Let's just do just give it a second. Oh. Joe Joe DeRosa. <laughs> Joe, what's up? What's up, kid? How you doing? What's up, you filthy pig piece of shit? Uh, dude, you know, dude, you know, I'm just fucking I'm just creating shit, dude, creating disasters. You know what I do, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a pig. I'm a pig. I'm you are you are a dirty pig. You're also on the History Hyenas podcast live. What's up, roses? <laughs> yeah, I mean Joey D. Joey D's constantly doing two to twenty two bids. Yeah, because he goes raw dog, and then you, you know just what it is. Deal with it. You're yeah. just in worry prison for twenty two yeah. days. Uh, you know, dude. I told you though, dude. I, I I've done so much time at this point. I don't even feel it anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know the guards and everything. They're like, welcome yeah. back, Joey. <laughs> I'm calling you about. I'm calling. What's what's you got, Christy D in the house? Yeah, well, that's our podcast. Yeah, I'm here, Joey. Yeah, what's no, up, I babe? Know. Yeah, I, he sounds far away. That's all. It sounds like you're like. Well, well on, hurry it up because you're we, jo- we're, Joey. We're, hold on, yeah, because we, we're at the mics. Um, yeah, guy. Yeah, listen. I'm sorry. I got your voicemail the other day about Bay Ridge. I like the. Na- I think it's a great neighborhood. Um, but let me just, the only question I have, to you, there's one prereq that we obviously got to ask anybody moving in Bay Ridge. Get the Ridge. way Jean Jean button ready. There's just, no, just one prereq. It's just, um, who'd you vote for the last election? Because <laughs> <laughs> if it's Hillary, I'm going to ask you to find another neighborhood. Listen, uh, I think Bay Ridge will be good for me. I always vote Italian. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> listen, if you like, listen to me, if you like Italian food, um, I'm gonna put him in my apartment. So just tell him to stop overthinking oh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna. Okay, yeah, that's I'm great. Put him in my well, apartment. yeah, it's good because now you're saving a suicide from somebody else. So it's good. Um, yeah, we'll tell you about that off the edge, Roses. I wanted, I wanted to see if he could send me some pics. I wanted to talk apartment. All you got to know, Joey, let me tell you something. Just all scroll you back know, on my Instagram. All you got to know about Yanni's apartment is you got a perfect view of the Freedom Tower. That should sell you right there. Yeah, that's You can it. see freedom out your fucking window. Yeah. So what do you want, guy? Yeah. You can see the pillar of fucking freedom yeah. where the fucking towers went down. And we lost fucking good kids that day. Yeah. You could see the fucking... It's a one-fucking-bedroom apartment in New York City, Joey. What do you want? It's in a for beautiful a neighborhood. The, the, the apartment's beautiful. It'll be yeah. fully furnished for you. The bathroom needs a renovation, and that's it. Yeah, and you can get but prostitutes will... in there late night on the elevator. Yeah. Can Joey I Roses. Dog... Can I have my dog there, Giannis? Of course you can have your dog there. I got a dog. I mean, yeah. what are you, fucking stupid? Yeah, no, we could, we could have the dog. Because, and then, um, guess what? The 
best news is. And you kind of look like me, so that'll be good that you can fill in for Chrissy D because when he wants to take a walk. Yeah, because I mean, I, I like to take a lot of walks. I like. You to could just probably ring use my gym membership and use it, and then when my face comes up on the screen, we just look like the same person. Yeah, you guys look like the same guy, so that'll help me out a lot because I, I'm really going to be sad when Yanni leaves. But at least I'll just have you. But the thing is, with what you got, you'll get cracked out, cracked open though too. I mean, here's the thing, Chrissy. You're gonna you're gonna have to play a big role in my life when I move into that neighborhood. All yeah, right? let's just hang out. Gonna, we're gonna have to ramp it up a little bit. We're gonna have to become a little more dependent on each other, a little closer emotionally. Uh, you know, I'm gonna need a guy to. Sh- all right, that was Joe DeRosa. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. all. Back to Venetia. Yeah. Okay, so um, the Temperance at. <laughs> Basically, they had been trying to pass the Valsed Act for many years. And so what happened is that they finally got some encouragement because of World War One, because uh, the nation uh, needed actually to use the... Um, well, that was a big propaganda thing, too. They were saying that they use it. They're like, we, we should be using this for bread right? because we're in war and yeah, not for alcohol. Need- and so... Right. So that we need it for the boys. That's I mean, can you why text them though? Be. Huh? We text to Rose. I feel bad. Don't worry, it's funny. Don't te- worry about okay, it. Okay, but I feel bad for the kid. It's, he's f- it, we're on a podcast, right, so fine. it's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He we should have picked it up, up Bill Burr. I mean, I you know I do we me and me and fucking we abuse each other all the time. Okay, it's fun <laughs> stuff. You got a mean streak, guy. I got a huge mean streak. Yeah, thank God you're not German. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Something about Joe. You want to step to this? Try it. Yeah. Anyway. All right, so, yeah. It's just a joke. It's a character World piece. World War One. So, right. yeah. What were the crazy things that you guys thought happened during the Prohibition time? There was a lot of, of wild stuff. Like, you know, this is a time where there's gangs coming out. Like, the speakeasy. Well, just some HHFODs. That was great that you said. It was called, it's the 18th Amendment, and it was called the Volstead Act. So, that's officially, boom. Prohibition is now law of the land. For right. 13 fucking years. And, but, but specifically, prohibition means you cannot manufacture it, you can't sell it. Right. But you can consume it. It's illegal. So if you can get your dirty poor papas on it. If you can get your dirty poor papas on it, you could. But I don't think, I, I don't think you could consume it. You just weren't. No, you were allowed to. You were allowed consume, to consume it. But you weren't allowed to you weren't, manufacture it or sell it. So right. that's why everybody is creating these. Spe- and what's a speakeasy for people who don't know? Speakeasy is those secret little bars like that you have to have the secret knock to know to get in. And people would be drinking, you know, undercover yeah. at night. You know, the police at this time, they were going around. They were fucking raiding, uh, you know, whatever they would find. Illegal booze. Everything was, Booze was illegal. They would, you know, there's all those famous... Videos and photos of cops just using those axes to kind of sure because there was you know there was, was squads the of- there's prohibition squads that would go around and try to find alcohol. I mean the um, Elliot Ness and yes. his boys, the famous movie, their whole goal was to fight bootleggers. What was the what was in the, Chicago in Chicago? What was the um, like prison terms? Like what would you get if you got caught? Does anybody know? That's a good question. Like how long, like, like, cause, cause, like, if you get caught selling weed, it's like not that big of a deal anymore. Yeah, it is, of course. Of course, if you get caught smoking it, nothing even happens. Even, you know, you would get a ticket maybe in some states. Isis, can you look that up? Like, I want, I want to know like how it was criminalized. Um, and also Al Capone. This is where Al Capone becomes like the famous Al Capone is because he excelled in bootlegging. I mean, kid was here for a a, a short time, not a long time. Because another real quick, another um, quick one day trip we got to do is the Eastern State Penitentiary. Go down to Philadelphia, get some Reuter, get some Gina's cheesesteaks, and then go visit the Eastern State Penitentiary. It's an old school Quaker prison that was haunted and also housed Al Capone for five years. So we could do that. That's good. We should do that. Yeah, there's so, a girl I want to crack. So really. in 1917, Snapchat, CDTV. It was actually Woodrow Wilson, (laughs) the kid, Woodrow Wilson. Who uh, who was kind of an asshole? Was it, was another, we'll do another, another good, episode. Of yeah, him. which is a good name for your piece. Woodrow, yeah, Woodrow Wilson. Wilson's a great oh, name my, for Woodrow your Wilson. Piece. Yeah, he's the one who uh, he kind of he started it. He instituted a temporary wartime uh, prohibition in order to save grain for producing food. But it was that was a little bullshit. I think it was he's a little propaganda. Woodrow he, Wilson's he, a little bit of an. He, it was like he was doing a little test to be like, hey, we're going to start this way and yeah. then rationalize it. A little it. bit of an FF. Yeah, that yeah. We're, we're banning alcohol to save grain when really, you FF know, move. there's plenty of fucking food here. Yeah, FF move. So that was like the first little prohibition that happened. Um, it was like a little prohibition, like they would just just a tip. test it out. What well, Hitler, Hitler would do shit like that, actually, too. Yeah, now I'm Hitler. Listening. No, he would. He oh. would. He would fucking. Ban, on he would. Be, he would do a little thing and see how people would react, and then he would go further. That's actually we can get into that in another episode the as well. Punishment but, would be uh, a five thousand dollar fine or imprisonment for not exceeding one year or both. Wow. I mean, five Gs. I mean, inflation rates. I mean, you talk, that's a fucking big. You can't normal everyday person can't pay a five thousand dollar fine. No, that's a lot. You know? 
So what they used medicinal whiskey for back in the day was like toothaches, flu, you know, because it would numb you out. So that's what they would do. It was also it also an astringent because it's alcohol, yeah, so it would clean. To this day, my pediatrician, I remember when my daughter was teething, they were like, put a little rum on, on her pacifier. Yeah, numbed it out. To this day, it's the best thing to do. Numbed it out. Numbed it out. Yeah. So, uh, you know, obviously in this 13-year period, we have the rise of organized crime, the most famous being yeah. in Chicago. Uh, Al Capone. And he again, was a kid, New York kid. I was going to say, the yeah. kid, again, He's a New York kid. He comes from New Amsterdam. I know these, anybody who gets famous, I mean, Carmelo Anthony, Michael Jordan, I mean, these kids come from New Amsterdam. Yeah. I'm just going to call it New Amsterdam. Yeah, Jordan Jordan was born in New York City. It's just what it is. Mike Tyson. wants to deny that, but it's just the it's truth, It's just Billy. the truth, Billy. So yeah. just stop You're it. You're a good, funny guy because I guarantee you somebody in your family grew up in New Amsterdam. Yeah, it's what it is. And also, you, you, you he's a New York comic, really. You're, yeah, you got good in New York. You really got, you got good in New York. So, uh, you know, federal, federal and local, uh, you know, authorities started to work in concert um, to enforce prohibition. And this was the this was the roaring twenties, man. So at this time, you used to have women starting to kind of live and and go out and dance. You have the sure. famous images of what they call the flappers, that whole yeah, style. Yeah. And women were kind of breaking free. Yeah. Women were starting to vote, and they were fucking boozing. The suffrage movement, jazz yeah. was coming. You know, yeah. you go to those little black speakeasies in Harlem and wherever in New yeah. York City, and people were drinking booze and dancing, and yeah. that was that was the that was the spirit of the time. Al Capone was making like six million fucking dollars a week. A week. That's how much money. Yeah. He was getting um, yeah. moving booze. And he famously said, hey. If that I- kid had a Patreon, it would sell tickets. He would <laughs> fucking move tickets. Yeah. <laughs> he actually earned $60 million annually, a year. I mean, so much money, he didn't know what to do with it. He was here for a good time, long time. That kid had a short run. That kid had to have had more money than some governments at that time. At some that time. Na- national government. For sure. He, that kid had more money than fucking Finland. And, and he, you know, you, you, you look at the, the big drug dealers who, are, who make the money, the famous ones like Al Capone and Pablo then Escobar. Of Pablo Escobar. They do have a point. They're making so much money because there's a huge demand for it. Sure. So it's like if they don't do it, somebody else is going to do it. So at some point... I don't know. What do you do? It's like, what do you do? You want me to be a capitalist or not? Because you're, you're telling me you're born be cap- You're putting capitalist ideologies in my head from day one, and then what? I can't go be a capitalist and sell some fucking coke. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because Miami. That's <laughs> what it is. The thing is, the black mark, the black booze market, because of prohibition, it's not taxed and everything. The government was losing a lot of fucking money that they could have been taxing. Yeah. And this whole black market was one of the main. One of the main economies of America, just like cocaine. Nobody wants to talk about it, but the whole city of Miami runs on the economy of cocaine. Yeah. That's where it all comes in. Yeah. Nobody has a real job. Everyone's dealing fucking coke. Yeah. It's the shadow economy it's of what it is. Miami. Oh, it's like, oh, Miami. And again, who from- likes to do fucking booze and who likes to do coke? White kids. White yeah, the fucking dolphins are doing blow. Yeah. It's well, right. a lot of people were dying as well because they were trying to make moonshine. And so... I think like 10,000 people died over the years because of this. So um, right. it just is, it goes to show. Oh, like, like you mean the alcohol it? was like tainted? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like the Dominican Republic. Well, yeah, people were making moonshine in their bathtubs and they were making it out in the in the country. A lot mm-hmm. of these Southern kids were making moonshine out in the country. Sure. And um, so, you know, the political party came up, uh, uh, you know, rose up uh, uh, around prohibition. And you had these ministers who were giving these fiery speeches. Uh, one of which was this former uh, professional baseball player. I can't remember his name. Who was actually in Savannah, and he would give these fiery speeches about how we gotta g- stop drinking and 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 the behavior yeah. that comes around drinking. Yeah, but meanwhile he was probably fucking t- you know seducing little boys. It's all it's all it's, it's all, all how balance. It is. It's what it is. It's all like you want to be a tyrant and you want to be uh, sorry puritanical about one thing. I guarantee you it's because you're hiding another. The most, 100%. the safest people are the people that are just, they kind of don't get bent out of shape about anything. Yeah, and the kind of people like, who, who, my life the right way. who don't hide anything yeah. and admit that they're flawed yeah. and show you. Yeah, you know? here it is. Those but, people who are often pointing the finger, you, you can't point the finger, you got to get the law. That's why you need law. Yeah. That's why laws are so important and those laws need to be based on region, reason yeah. and logic and they need to be good laws. Yeah. And that's what it is. Yeah. So this was obviously a very bad law. It did not work. A lot of tax dollars um, being lost. Uh, now there, you got bloodshed everywhere. Sure, I mean it's the, the, people are drinking the same. It's it's driving drunk. Driving, it's the yeah. same. Well, it's just the same shit. It didn't do anything. So after 13 years, FDR finally is like, look, this isn't working. The whole country knew it wasn't working. Uh, there's uh, people are being murdered in Chicago over this shit. Bootleggers, bootleggers everywhere. Mm-hmm. People are still drinking. You can't control it, like prostitution, like weed. Yeah. People are still gonna do it. Yeah. So he so just then boom, slap a tax on it. Now it's for the government. They repeal it with the Twenty First yep. Amendment. They repeal the Volstead Act. 
the 18th Amendment is repealed by FDR, and he famously celebrated the repeal by drinking a fucking dirty martini because he's an inbred, elite British fucking kid. It's just what and it he is. He had polio and he couldn't stand up because he's inbred. He's in. Yeah, he went to the best schools and everything. But make no mistake, those elite families—they're all related and they're inbred. Yeah, it's he what was it related is. to Teddy Roosevelt. They're related to probably some British gang. They're all related to some German fucking prince yeah. who lives in a basement and eats yeah. his kids. Yeah, and that. <laughs> Just back, back and we're and back. We're back for legal reasons. Yeah, we're we back. don't. We're not trying to keep any content from you. It's just Chrissy's too fucking wild. It's what it is. Yeah, you can't be controlled. Like, what are we gonna do like in the live show? Consumption. What are we gonna do in the live show? Because we're just gonna have to have the cops. You can't here. have your phones out. November 9th at the Gramercy Theater. You can't record anything. Yeah, just don't record. If you're a fan, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Just don't fucking record. All right. Listen. So on the Patreon episode, we're gonna talk about temperance, which is wild. Now, for our fans who went, we have a lot of new listen, a lot of new Patreon members. Welcome to the matriarchy. They went to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. What we like to do here, if you're new to this podcast, if you're new to the family, welcome. We read out the new Patreon members. We read their names out when the first uh, you know, when they first sign up, the first episode, um, to just to give them a shout out, say thank you. We encourage a funny names. Um, and a lot of you people did funny names. This time. And we understand if you don't want to make a funny name, we'll just read your name and then we'll say you're straight to the back and you're only here for the content. Maybe you have a job, you have a family, you don't want people to know that you're listening to such wild shit. We understand that. We support that. So Giannis, are you ready? Yeah. There's a lot to there's a lot to get through. There's there's a lot. So listen, also if you guys don't fast forward through this, listen to this because the names are really funny. So you ready? Yeah. Yanni, you ready? Yeah. Okay. First up, I'm gonna read them quick. I have okay. to read them quick because it's a lot. Okay. okay. Tony, spin the wheel, wear mom stockings, maybe suck a dick bones. <laughs> okay. I mean, these okay. guys, it's like athletes evolving. They're yeah. getting better. Better. Okay, then we got Matthew, openly racist, but it's just a character piece, Kavanaugh. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Aaron Rule here for the content. Here for, then we got back. Matt, my knuckles are hairy, but I'm still a piece were. <laughs> Ten. John Campbell, Zach Cromer here for the content. Uh, content. Carly, it's just what it is. Giuliano. If yeah. you have an Italian last name like Giuliano, you don't have to worry about having such a funny name because we just laugh because your last name is Giuliano. Giuliano's funny. Italian names are just funny for some reason. For some it, reason. They're inherently funny. Yeah. Brian, I got 1K. Bri oh, I'm sorry. Brian, I got $1,000. Can I wrap Burton in a sheet and beat him with batteries? Okay. We may have to cackle that one out, but it's yeah. funny. And he still hates me, and he loves you. Yeah, it's, it's what just it is. what it is. Um, then we got uh, this guy's name. <laughs> this guy's full name is I Caught the Gay from These Two Bay Ridge Queens Bad. <laughs> yeah. Then we got Ryan, one word, Namin. Yeah. When we say Ryan, yeah, one word, me. a Namin means that we're saying a black, a black guy because black guys in comedy, they usually just go by one name. It's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah me. It's earthquake. Just one name. Yeah, hurt. One yeah, name. hurt. Yeah, hurt. hurt. Okay, Andrew McLaren here for the content. Here for the content. Matt, totally not a toot, but my last name is Hooker. <laughs> <laughs> God. Ten? PPW yeah, I mean, Tench. fuck, Ted, PPW nominee. Then we got Chrissy, cock on my cranium to stuff a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, oh, no, God. I'm sorry. Chrissy, cock on my cranium to stuff it in. You stuff it in. To stuff it in. Sorry. Yeah, well, I think you punched it up for him. Then we got this one, and this one is a way. I'm just doing a preemptive way, Sean Sheehan. Understand, I'm not I'm not saying this. I'm just reading the name as is. Uh, Steven the Thick Dick Spick Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> PPW nominee. Okay, yeah, yeah, but that's a tough one. You can't. Well, like, he's he. It's he's him saying it, but you, that's, a, that's a slur, guy. But he's saying it. Right. He's he's obviously um, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's a white walker. Okay. Um. Okay. Then we got Julian just trying to find a piece with a decent pseudo penis white. Good. <laughs> Good. Stephanie, Chrissy D, White C, Clarendon, and me, Adams. Ah, uh, that all rhymes. Yeah. PPW nominee. Then we got Jay, the Ridgewood Wop that still is trash from the island, Saint Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Then we Jesus. got Serge John Baptiste here for the content. I'm here for the content. David Ivac, Tim Langmaid, Dylan Wolfuck, all here for the content. Wow, just a couple guys in raincoats all whack walking back to the porn section. It's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Then we got Tom Lean Mean Bratwurst Peace Machine punching through Deutsch Vagine Holtz. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Make a note. That, 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 I, he, he, I think that we got a winner. Yeah. I, how are you gonna beat that? Me. Probably 40 more. Uh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> 
Natasha Bynum here for the content. Yeah. Uh, Ray crashed my car listening to the boys' wild mess dad. Good. Ten. We appreciate the compliment. One name Geneva. Nah, I mean. Yeah, I mean. Um, then we got Austin. Make no mistake. I had to ask Chrissy for the Patreon info cuz. <laughs> <laughs> funny, <laughs> funny, tech. funny, but he just you know, Clyde Drexler. Then we got um, Sharim Job, Sharim Job, Sharim Job. That's a yeah, I mean, he That's went for I mean, it. Funny. Yeah, he's black kid. Then or, we got uh, is that a guy's name or a girl? Sharim, I don't know. Sharim Job. Okay. Then we got Skyler. Keep the antihistamines under the tuck back sack, Guadalupe. Uh, Jesus Christ, that's good. Yeah. Then we got Josh German. Uh, Mia Pachoni. Mia Pachoni, how you doing? Ted. Yeah, you don't need to do nothing. Then we got Dildo underscore Swaggins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, then we got um, Thatcher Weisbrot. Oh, it's a fucking German kid. It's a German. Thatcher Weisbrot. Yes, it's a, he would be against prohibition. Then we got Nikki, meet me in the back of Uncle Vinny's parking lot, Del Grosso. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She probably saw you yeah. at Uncle Vinny's. Yeah, then we got Louis Lard Tits, a.k.a. Louis Butt Plugs, a.k.a. Bin Fong Fell in the Duck Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> good, Ted. good, Ted. Then we got Colin pushing the gay down part potato monkey part Leroy. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, that's a goodie. Can that's we put? Goodie. Can we make a note of that guy? Yeah, yeah. Then we got Stephanie Trambaugh here for the content. Yeah, I'm here for Dana the content. Dana Mecca uh, here for the content. Steel pipe Caitlin. <laughs> Ted. <laughs> Ted. Then we got Kieran. One word. Yeah. Then we got John Swanson here for the content. Wow, we got a lot of guys in raincoats going to the yeah. back. Alberto Galvez, Mark Reese here for the content. Mm -hmm. Then we got Danny Garlic Bread Fumes, but last name's Brown Benavidez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Goody. Then we got Amanda Ray. Here for Leah, the content. Yeah. Brian Lucy, Chad Caldwell, Forrest Workman, Evan Anderson, Lacey Bradley, all here for the content. Wow, that was like a tour bus group that's just walking back to the porn yeah, section. For the content. Yeah. Then we got the escalator to nowhere. Okay. Um, ten. Creative, we, creative. Yeah. Then we got Brother Man Bill. Brother okay. Man Bill's good. Alex V here for the content. Yeah. Um Greggy, get the get um Greggy. Gore the Glendale Ho War Trump 2020. I don't know what this kid said. He's kid probably did it. With, he's probably hammered when he did it. Yeah, but ten. Thank you. Yeah, Jack Zur here for the content. Here for the content. Then we got Ashley the Annie Oakley of glue guns. <laughs> Good. Good. Neil B. Good. All right. He's an R and B singer. Yep. Then we got Ross. So that was the first week. That was the first week. Oh right, yeah. right, right, right. Because those were the week one. Because we didn't do an episode last week, so right. this is two weeks of, of Patreon content. So we'll have two. We'll have two PBDW winners. Yeah. Yes. Which one? Okay. So we're done on that one. We're done on yeah, that. Yeah. The one. one I told you to make note of. Which was that? Which one was that? There's four that you did. Okay. Well, let's hear them. Oh, we go, you well, want to check out right we're now? We're gonna do this, okay. and then we're gonna go to the. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. Number twelve, sixteen. What was number twelve, Chris? Uh, number twelve um, was Matt. Totally not a two, but my last name is Hooker. <laughs> <laughs> number six. <laughs> Number 16, Stephanie, Chrissy D, White Z, a Claritin, and me, Adams. Yeah. Okay. 22. 22 is Tom Lean Mean Bratwurst Peace Machine Punching Through Deutsch Vagine Halts. <laughs> yeah, I'm going there. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a PPW. That, okay. Yeah, that's so that's a, a no brainer. But listen, the other ones were great too. There was yeah. one other great one. Just do the other half. half well, that's the thick, thick. No, this is hip, yeah, the, the hip, yeah. But it's also the half, half, half Leroy. Oh, half Colin pushing the gay down part potato monkey part Leroy. Yeah, that's a good one yeah. too. And also Martinez was a good one. Okay, <laughs> all right. So that's week one. So congrats to, to the Bronworth machine. Yeah. And then real quick, just stay with us. These other names are funny. Oh, they love it. Don't worry, yeah, they ain't okay, going nowhere. Thank you. Okay, real quick. Um, Ross, Texas size situation with the mother Brown. Goody ten. Yeah. Uh, Amanda. Now I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean. Joshua Torres, Mike Anthony, Marcus Waitling, and Will. Hey, here, uh, where's the uh, porn section? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> then Gary, can I get an order of Wei Shan Chien with extra duck sauce, Crowley? <laughs> Ten. Good. Angela Cost Costaneda sounds like a piece. Yeah, I done. Agent J. Oh, huh? we got some agents coming in now. Agent. Agent J. Okay. Then we got Renee True Blue Screwed In Kid Fielder. Ten. Good. Thank you. Good. Isaac, one name, not me. Yeah, me. Then we got um, Mikey from the Midwest, but can't stop talking in your borough trash accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like Mikey. Like it. Yeah. Marcus Sanchez. I, I'm here, here for the content. For the content. Um, Riley, the seal clubbing newfie who likes FFs and Chrissy's leper feet. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got to make yeah. a note, Benetia. Yeah. Then we got this guy, Georgie that Toodles. That means that kid's a newfie. That means he's from Newfoundland in Canada. Yeah. Georgie Toodles. Georgie Toodles, funny. Funny. I think that's just kid's real name. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> Then we got um, No Fumes Nick cracked open a Minnesota Muzzy was surprisingly hard. <laughs> yeah, wait, Sean Sheehan. 
PPWWD. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. Why don't you Stop there. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's so wrong. <laughs> How no wrong fumes. could that? I didn't see that one coming. No Fumes Nick is a funny fucking name anyway. It, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Holy shit. He might have got me the worst of all of them. Yeah. Then we got Austin Huss, Bob, WJ, um, Steel Pipe Kelly with the Smoothie Plain and Simp. <laughs> That's uh, a good one. Plain and Simp's an oldie. She, Plain and Simp is she's been a fan for a while. And again, you're just, you're just it's all simp. about timing because that's a really funny one, but he's yeah. coming off the, the cracked open emotion. I mean, those, it's hard just those are cl yeah, Clyde, Clyde Drexler. Drexler. We'll call him Clyde Drexler. I mean, they're just born in the wrong era. <laughs> Sam Gorney. Um, oh, God. Make no mistake, going to crack you open and clean you out, then cancel. It's a character piece. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Good. Uh, Ten. They just basically say it and they joined the yeah. Patreon just for the name reading. They're out. Then we got Amber Faith Sarita. Okay. I'm here for the content. Robert Licata. Yeah, Robert Licata walks in and goes, Excuse me, sir, do you have a bathroom I could use? Yeah. And then goes to the porn section. Yeah, it goes to the porn section. Yeah. Then we got Quad. One name, his name's just Quad. Yeah, me. Then we got Shaq, the muzziest muzzy there ever was he. <laughs> Good. The muzziest muzzy there ever was. I mean, if that's not a Clyde Drexler, I don't know what. Yeah, I mean, it's just he's he could have won in another year. Yeah. Then we got Carlo. Just put the wig back on. <laughs> <laughs> it's another goodie. Yeah. Make a note. Nominee. Oh, he actually says, Carlo, just put the wig back on. Don't eat meat and take me physically. That's even better. Okay. Yeah, he's a nominee. Then we got... um. Uh, some of you just suffer from a bad read from Chrissy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Then we got Justin Scum Cuzzy Shishki Mimarki. <laughs> Another nominee. God damn it. Then we got Connor, parentheses, I love my mother, woman's a saint, McEntee. Yeah, he's okay. a good it's a good, good Irish Catholic kid. Then we got this this kid's this kid is just saying in the name. He says, Orlando here for the content, Martinez. He's letting you know. He's just letting you know. He's, he's letting he's, you know. He's just here for the content. Yeah, excuse me, sir. Um, do you guys have um looking for Ferris Bueller's? Oh, I think it's in that yeah. room. Yeah. Then we have <laughs> Then we have Jason just here for the content, Herman. I mean, so people are just doing that. That's I mean, okay. kids walking straight to the back in a raincoat. Then we have Sean, one word, one name. Yeah, I mean. mean. Then we have Jason, fumeless FF, steel pipe, snow monkey, grandy. <laughs> it's a goodie. <laughs> it's yeah. I know the ones you like when you read them at the end and the jaw just comes right yeah. out. Your no. jaw is like a fucking sock draw. It just opens yeah. up. Then we have this one. Then we have Steven uses Suvlaki. Steven uses Suvlaki as anal beads, calipeptus. <laughs> Huh? Here for the content, Herman. Oh, Jason, just here for the content, Herman. Yeah. Th then we got Suvlaki kid was funny. Yeah. That was funny. Then we got Eric Rodeck. Uh -huh. Then we got Hefty Schlongdinger. <laughs> then we got Tim. Timmy, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Mikeology. Who? Mikeology. That's his name, Mikeology. Okay, that kid's in a raincoat. Sam. Sam, yeah, I mean, he's in a raincoat. Here for the content. <laughs> Franklin E. Munoz. That kid is just here for the content. Here Excuse the content. me, guy. I'm here looking for a movie. Yeah. Then we got James the Drunken Pierogi Stolarski. That's what it is. Ten. Good. Yeah. Then we got Good Franks. Polish kid. Then we got Franks and Beans the Staten Island Sauce Monkey hiding out in PA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then we got Daryl Melendez. Here for the content. Then we got Pinot Gris Anti Heast. <laughs> Good. Good. Then we got uh, Paid My Way into the Third Reich's Non Toot Fume Room. It's just what it is. <laughs> Goody. Ten. Yeah. Then we got Leroy Sanchez. Leroy Sanchez. Ten. <laughs> Andrew Sterndale, uh -huh. Malcolm King Gay Bridges. We're here for the content, guys. Danny, the Bulgarian barbarian drinking out of Nikoforos' skull, Damanyov. He went for it. He's wild. He went for it. He's a wild kid. Then we got Griffin Overweiss. That's a German. Okay, and those are our newest uh, Patreon members. It yeah. took a little while, but listen, you guys are signing up. We're going to read them, and they're hilarious. I mean, yeah. So who's week two's uh, PPW? I mean, come on. That was a blowout. It's I blow think it was uh, No Fumes Nick Cracked Open in Minnesota Muzzy was surprisingly hard. That yeah, was that's it. Yeah, so you right. win. Yeah, that, <laughs> so I mean, look, be... but there was a few goodies, a right. couple of honorable mentions that we said at the, after you read them. Yes. But I mean, that one cracked me hard. Yeah. Yeah, because that one had a... Yeah. That one was wrong. It's, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. And, and a lot horrible. of times, the funniest thing is the wrong thing. And it's just, that's why we do comedy. And that's why we do comedy. It means in real life that's wrong, but that's not. Comedy doesn't live in real life. Yeah, comedy lives in in, in jokes. When you're when you're yeah. pur we're all purging the that's pieces why. of shit we are. I encourage people to go check out Tim Dillon's uh, Instagram and and Twitter. He just put out a video of him. It's called Tim Dillon versus the crowd, I believe, or Tim Dillon. Something like that. It's just about, it's him going on a rant just telling you what it is with comedy. And it's just a 10 out of 10. The kid's one of the funniest kids around. Yeah, you can quote me on this. Comedy is the purging of the lesser angels of our nature. I'm in for a long day. You're in for a long fucking day? Wow. Quote me on that guy. Okay. Stop pretending like you're pure and good. None of us are. Comedy is our way to unite because it's, it's an admission of how shitty we all are. History Don't Hy be shitty in the real world. Be a good person. Go to historyhyenas.com, christycomedy.com, giannispapaslive.com, 
November 9th. Giannis Peppers Comedy dot com. Giannis Peppers Comedy. I got the same fucking thing that you do. It's ChrisDComedy.com and Giannis Peppers Comedy dot com. Whoever bought Giannis Peppers Peppers down and come. Whoever bought Giannis Peppers. Dot com. Go fuck yourself, you rat. But let's be honest. I mean, if you want to see where Giannis is, just know that it's, go to historyhenus.com. I mean, if you want to go, the kid's career is taking a dip. The career's kid is taking a major dip. But it's coming right back. It's coming right back. It's coming right back like fucking Viagra. ChristyComedy.com. Um, uh, live show, November 9th. A lot of it's probably my fucking agent's fault. It might be time for a switch. Yeah, well, you're going to do a switch. Come, come over to this. I got truffles for you, too. Yeah. I got a, there's a lot of truffles in my agency. No, I love my agency. Um, okay, just joking. Yeah. It's a character piece. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. they're not listening yet because they're not going to make any money on the live tour. They so don't. let's be honest. <laughs> so they're not listening. They're not screwed in. But my agency is 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 is, is booking the live tour, so these guys are listening. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> November 9th, Gramercy Theater almost sold out. Ticket link in the History Hyenas uh, Instagram bio, in Giannis Pappas' bio, and Christy Comedy's bio. Um, or go Google Gramercy Theater Live History Hyena Show, November 9th, midnight. Um, we also have a new task for you guys. Um for our Patreon members, the people who have went to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, if you can create a video using History Hina's languages, like Lisa Johnson, the Queen of the Matriarchy, did, um, make it fun, not hateful, just fun using our terms. Um, the winner will be announced on November 4th, and we'll get two free tickets to our live History Hina show at Gramercy Theater in New York City, uh, Saturday, November 9th at midnight. All right? Yeah. Thank you guys Wait, so much. And for our Patreon episode, we are going to talk about Carrie Nation, who was fucking wild. She described herself as a bulldog running along at the feet of Jesus. And she would go into wow. bars. She would go into bars and break them up with a hatchet. She was fucking wild. Wild. Yeah. Okay. Shout out Linda Stefano. 